Hello Libra, this is monthly forecast for you for the month of May 2017. This time I'm doing readings a little bit differently. I hope you like it. First three cards here, showing your work, atmosphere at work in business. First card symbolizing uh, atmosphere at work generally in May. Second card showing uh, co-workers, employers, clients that you will be dealing with, how they will be acting. And third card showing you, how you will be working, how you will be dealing with uh, people, things, tasks, professional tasks. Let's start with the atmosphere of the month. Two of chalices, uh, harmony. This month you have a harmony at work. Probably uh, there are will be some contracts that you may sign or agreements that will be really like good for you your condition the world world usually showing very talented people people who wanna um, i don't know like do things in the big way who want some expansion, who want to grow, who want to change sometimes the whole world around them uh, or change something uh, in their professional area, uh, who want to achieve something, finish something big, um, who want to have bigger connections like uh, wider uh, your that your what's the word hmm it's difficult <laughs> really i don't know so many words in english but anyways it's the world is really harmonious positive and talented card so you are like one wants to achieve something maybe you want to go somewhere maybe you want to change something in a big way this month at work with your profession Maybe you want to finish some big project. People around you, co-workers, clients, uh, some other people, Four of Pentacles. I like that it is calm card. They are not nervous, they are not uh, kicking you, uh, they are not uh, trying to bother you in any way. But Four of Pentacles, it's card of greedy people, you know. <laughs> so some Libra, maybe you will have your clients that are trying to, I don't know, choose a cheaper uh, thing, choose a cheaper good, choose a cheaper something. So like they're trying to save their money this month. Be prepared for this. And they are not so open. You see, you are the world. Like I want everything. I could do so many things. But they are not ready, they are cautious, they are like, oh, I don't know, it's such a risk. I don't want to take any risk thinking they are thinking. But anyways, atmosphere, excellent. You are so, uh, you thinking very wide, uh, big. So I think you will achieve a lot of things this month, Libra. For finances, the main card, six of chalices, uh, it's a good card, but for big a businessman if you uh, like to make big money it's not enough six of chalices is money is coming to you but amounts uh, of those amounts are not so big but for people who are not so rich it's really good card because six of chalices is showing some gifts some pleasant moments gifts that uh, people giving us something and we can save our money Let's say I wanted to buy something, I don't know, maybe cosmetic and my girlfriend giving me a present and so I don't have to buy it. I saved some money. So by this gift I'm saving my own money. But six of chalices, money coming to you this month and you will have enough. Situations, situation with your finances, finances getting better, getting stronger. For some of you, if you uh, recently, in the recent past, had some difficulties, especially for those of you who had some difficulties, situation getting better in May, you getting um, some money, it's not much, not yet, but situation improving, your finances improving, and it will be obvious, you will see it. 
four coupled people who married, who living together, who knowing each other and uh, being together, dating, like say for months or maybe e years even. So for coupled situation uh, of the months in your relationships, King of Wands, your partner, sorry Libra, your partner shown by the Fool in reverse, and uh, you yourself, Queen of Swords. You know, it can be uh, if some partners of Libra watching now, they will hate me probably. But I don't know how to describe this fool in reversed in very nice way, I would say. So, King of Wands, atmosphere in your relationships. Like there is love, there is trust, there is like we care about our relationships. We want to improve things, or we want to do something. But your partner may be a little bit like naive, too naive, or might make some mistakes this month, um, maybe because person didn't calculate something, or might have some wishes, some dreams, like, oh, let's do something, like a child, let's do something, and you looking at him or her and saying, and how can you, how you think we're gonna do it? Did you calculate it? Where we, oh, where will, uh, Put our kids if you inviting me to go somewhere what you gonna do about kids about our dogs about our garden or whatever so Queen of Swords it's typical Libra uh, clever with a sense of humor doing things right and it looks like it's easy for her or him to do those things uh, but it's just because uh, person really rational logical <laughs> and know how to deal with stuff but partner this month uh, probably not also for some of you of course it can be if you married couple and you're having a kid or kids maybe there is some uh, problems with a kid maybe child will do something strange or wrong or will have some problems because like mistakes maybe and here your husband and you you coming together and uh, helping your kid to solve this uh, problem so it can be for all of you different but uh, from the very beginning i thought it's like atmosphere how partner will behave and how you will behave but you will not let your partner to continue to do the stupid thing queen of swords she's like Watch there. <laughs> I will not allow you next time to make this mistake. Your health, dear Libra, three of chalices. Uh, it's really joyful card. It's really happy card. So for some of you, if you had some problems with health, if you had some difficulties or even bad mood, it will get better. Three of chalices, card of joy, card of good mood, and card of things getting better. In it's we can see it. And we can't miss this uh, uh, getting better thing. Actually, so three of chalices for me it looks really, really nice. For single uh, Libra who looking for relationships, what possibilities do you have this month? Month of May, seven of chalices. Uh, as we all know, it's card of. Uh, Roses, glasses, dreams, fantasies, I don't know. When we uh, want something, cut of wishes, cut of confusion sometimes, cut of illusions and delusions as well. So, Libra, uh, I don't think that you will be like needing some attention for me it looks like this is libra and this is a lot of people like around you and paying attention to you but there is maybe for some of you 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 don't see those people like uh, potential partners for some reason and i'll tell you what i think out of your advice and non-advice and extra cards that I put for this seven of chalices. 
what it looks for me, how it looks like. For some of you, uh, Libra, if you not so young anymore, uh, you alone, you would like some relationships, you would like to have somebody beside you, near you, but maybe you begin to think in this wrong way, like, I am too old for this, what people will think, it's not normal, I'm already 60, la 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 la. So, like, I'm too old to have a partner, to have love in my life. It's never too, too late for love, for real love, for partnership, it's, it's never too late. But some of you might think like this, if you're not old, you might have some, let's say, example uh, in front of you. Maybe it's like how your parents, uh, what relationships they had, or maybe even grandmother with grandfather. Maybe you just have some example. It's not about some particular people, but how it should be, how a lady should be in the relationships and behave, how gentlemen must be. So you have this... Um, I'm not saying fantasy, it's ideal you have in your head. And you, when you're meeting somebody and you're beginning to communicate, you comparing these people and your relationships with the, those people, with this ideal, and you're finding these wrong moments. Like, mm, it's not good enough. It's not that what I expect. It's not like, not good enough, not good enough. Boop. So you're throwing this possible admires away, actually. So keep it in mind. Um, for some of you, you... Maybe you had, if you're Libra, and you had relationships with some um, Earth sign, like Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, maybe you still didn't uh, release these relationships, you didn't um, free yourself from that relationships. That's why you, when you're meeting somebody, you're comparing maybe to that guy. Uh, and here I said um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but Hierophant, it's sign of Taurus. Maybe you're comparing, maybe it's Taurus for some of you, really. So maybe you're comparing this person those people who are coming into your life, you're comparing to that man, and that's it. Like, again, it's not uh, good enough, it's not what it should be, it's not, uh, it doesn't feel right for me. So keep it in mind, if you have some ideal in your head, and forget about age, please, Libra. It has nothing to do with love, relationships and partnership, it has nothing to do with age, uh, advice and what is not recommended for you, dear Libra. Advice, Ten of Swords in reverse with this King of Pentacles. And uh, what is not recommended, Four of Wands. For some Libra, maybe, if you lost some uh, close person, some partner or maybe parent or somebody who you loved, and it was all already for a while, it was a while ago, but you still can't let go of this person. You're still spending too much time at the, I don't know, graveyard and uh, always looking at photos uh, with this person. And like living, still you are with this person. You're not letting go of that soul. You're not letting free this soul. You have to let uh, this person go. It's good for them as well, for people who passed away. We have to let them go, let uh, the soul to uh, move into another space, actually. But for those of you who didn't lose anybody, who don't have any problems like that, what it can be, again, again, you see, they telling you, you should let go of some situation. And it has to do with or person or money or some other material things, maybe. 
But for me, it looks like it past situation. It's already over. But you still holding for this. Maybe this month you should go into deep into this situation, like into. I'm sorry for some of you. It's like into this dirt again. With I don't know. You have to. You will contact with this, and then you should let go of this. It's difficult to explain, but I feel it like this. If you had some relationships with somebody and you still uh, can't forget it, maybe you think, when I'm thinking about this person, I feel so warm inside, I feel so comfortable, it's so comforting me so much. But if after this you feel depression, you feel bad, it's not a good thing to do. Remember it. Um, for some of you, uh, if in the relationships, in existing relationships, especially if you're with an earth sign and this person doesn't want to be in the relationships, the fool in reverse, I don't care about this, I don't want it, uh, maybe it's foolish from him or her, maybe. But if this person like want to run away, Uh, maybe you should let go. Maybe you should not try to keep this uh, view of happy family anymore. Maybe you should let go of this person, say goodbye finally. But it's just advices. You do whatever you like, dear Libra. But if it's past situation with somebody or some money or some uh, property and it's already over, like it's... it's uh, issue of old days it was once and you still it's like hurting you all the time you should let it go that's the point and on the bottom of the deck you've got wonderful the sun card so things are getting better in your life sun is shining for you you have been protected from the god heaven how you call it whatever universe and things are getting better, even if you can't see it this month. <clears throat> but the sun is raising and coming for you. We just people, we can't see um, in some things that it's really good for us, something. At that moment when it's happening. So Libra, I'm wishing you good luck, love, abundance and hope to see you soon. Bye.